Hi, I'm Katie Snap. And I'm Carol White. Carol and I are excited to be offering to you a women's leadership retreat here in the beautiful Southwest at the Tamaya Resort. This is an executive workshop to reinvigorate your career. We hope you'll join us. And here they are. I uh, want to introduce our, our really special guests today, authors of uh, The Skirt Strategies, and Katie Snap and Carol White are with us. Good to see you both. Great to be here. Good Welcome morning. to the Morning Brew. Love the Morning Brew. <laughs> this is great. All right, awesome. you got some brew going? Yes. And uh, I was mentioning the, the book has been out about a year now, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, maybe couple, it's going on two years. Two years. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It did just come out in Kindle version, though. So for nice. those people who yeah, just want to download it, well, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, briefly cool. tell us what the book is about. It's a women's leadership book. What, what's the premise? 249 success tips. It was important that we didn't reach 250. So we kept it at 249. Um, a variety of tactical, strategic, fun little things and more practical things for women that are in a position of influencing in their workplace. Mm -hmm. And I think you said you just have it on your desk and every once I in a while do. open it up to a new tip and decide that's what you're going to deal with. <laughs> and that's the great thing I love about it. It's just I, I have like things Look marked at it. Oh, on yeah. here. So I always say, okay, well, I'm going to go back at this because this is a good one to remember. Um, my thing is I'm curious, how did you all get to the point where like, I'm going to write this book? We need to put something out there for women. What well, was the motivating factor? Well, this Katie. is actually the second edition, yes. and uh, Carol helped me um, change it a little bit for the second edition. When I, it, uh, the first genesis of it, was an understanding of women do different, differently their leadership in, in the workplace, mm -hmm. and uh, boy, wouldn't it be nice to have kind of a manual for that? Well, it's not so the, so easy. It's certainly <laughs> not that easy, but we wanted to be able to have a quick reference for women that could remember that they have a natural female leadership style that often gets overrun if we don't pay attention to it. So this is nice little reminder. Some of them are more in-depth than others. May I give people your backgrounds a little bit? Sure, um, absolutely. Yeah. Katie is a trained engineer, mm -hmm. educated in that, worked in the engineering field for companies like Name drop here. Uh, Sandia yeah. National Labs, Honeywell. Yeah. Well, yeah. And what what kind of engineering did you do? Electrical. Wow. Yeah, it sounds so impressive. I know. <laughs> well, I, I'm impressed. And Carol started your yeah. own business when you were 21. Is that I right? Did. Yes. My wow. first and, restaurant when I was 21 and. And had a lot three of people may recognize Carol. She runs the, uh, the New Mexico Restaurant Association. You've been holding that position for some time now. Almost 11 years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. So these are two of our great leaders in New Mexico Thank who you. are leaders in the in the business field. And yeah, great leaders for women. They walk the walk the talk and talk the walk. We walk the talk and <laughs> write the talk. And <laughs> All this right. book, by the way, I don't know if you've discovered this or not yet, Erin, but it's a great reference for a book club or for mentoring women to women. And you also have uh, emails that go out as well. Yes, yes, we we've got free followers. We call them our tribe. <laughs> we've also got a um, subscribed membership, a paid membership, uh, which is super affordable. It's only $8 a month, but those members we give training in small incremental pieces every Monday morning. We call it the Monday morning detox. <laughs> so what is that? So if I'm one of your contacts or one of your clients, how does that work? I get a motivational talk every Monday or how Absolutely. does that work? It's a motivational talk and then you get a, a worksheet and some a little bit of uh, time to yourself and it's really only four minutes but think about it. How often do you spend four minutes just thinking about what you're going to do this week? How is this week going to look to you? And you get to plan that week with that audio and the work, work page. Yeah. So. Okay, let's talk about this uh, leadership uh, retreat. I've been calling it a workshop, a seminar, but a retreat is even more appealing. I like that. So <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about that. We thought it'd be great to get women uh, away in a very casual, non-stodgy environment. That's one of the um, things we like is to be able to get out of our 
our more uncomfortable clothes that we have to wear day to day and just not worry about it. The retreat was designed for women that are in positions of leadership or influence or mm -hmm. experienced managers so that they can um, have some introspective time, look at their career, what they've done successfully so far, and be among like-minded other women to help look at how they want to map out the future and what their, you know, what their image is. And, how to how to go into the future more successfully. We're calling it a mini sabbatical. So yeah. just like, like those that. four minutes of protected yeah. protected time, this is a weekend of protected time. Kind of just to look at you know you, what you've done in your past, where you're going in your future, and really plan that out. That's fantastic, mm -hmm. yeah. and it, it's a two day event. We start on uh, Thursday happy hour with a little bit of wine tasting. That's fine. That, that's fine. <laughs> that's everybody okay. going. Just to get everybody yeah. to know each other. Then we've got, uh, we're in the workshop all day Friday, all day Saturday, and half of Sunday. Wow. Oh, wow. And yeah. if you want to stay with us at the Hyatt, it's at the Hyatt Tamaya Resort and Spa. Uh, if you want to stay there overnight, we've got a special rate that Tamaya has, has yeah. offered to us. Um, and then you're really just definitely away and submerged in it right <laughs> it's such a beautiful area oh i too. love it gorgeous yes. it'll be a great time of year too it's the middle of may so what is the price point on this well today today it's only, only. <laughs> it's well, tricky it's been, that we're here today yes, it is. make us a deal that's good <laughs> yeah. today is the last day of the early bird special so okay. so it is 11.95 um for the four days and mm -hmm. then uh, tomorrow it will go up to 13. And people can register online? People they can, can register at skirtstrategies.com. There's also, it takes you over to registration actually at UNM. UNM Anderson School of Management is our partner on this, and we're glad to be hosting it with them. So they're managing the registration. But you can get anywhere you need to from skirtstrategies.com. Can I ask okay. you a man question? We love man <laughs> questions. <laughs> we do. Can you come? Can, yeah, <laughs> that the question? Sure. Uh, why not? Um, it, so the myth is. I don't know if it's a myth or not, but I want you to address it. The myth is that men are intimidated or put off by women who have strong leadership tendencies. Good question. Um, yeah. Tell me whether you think that's true or not. I say no, but well, you we, tell me. Well, we have, we really have a theory about that. There are um, certain behaviors that women tend to take on when they portray their leadership skills, often because they're their role models, if you think about it, mm -hmm. have in leadership have been mostly men, uh -huh. right? right? In the workplace anyway. I mean, leadership, our mothers are great leaders, but it's right. not really in a, in a work environment. That, that's kind of a generational statement. Um, but when women take on leadership traits, they tend to mock what the men do. Therefore, it becomes something that's not necessarily natural for them. So we think that that's what the men have an aversion and to. And actually, I think there's studies that, that men really do like women in the workplace. I mean, they really appreciate the work sure. that they, yeah, do, they do and everything else. Yeah. So I don't, I, on one hand, it's a little bit true, but, but not necessarily, really. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. good question. Thank you. So I had just read something that y'all are on iTunes, is that right? We are. We have a great podcast on iTunes. Um, I think there's a, like 13 podcasts, about 30 minutes long, and you can just download it and listen. And if you don't have, if you have an MP3, you can go to skirtstrategiespodcast.com okay. and download onto any MP3 player you have. So get your morning motivation. That's right. Yeah, as, yeah. You're, as you're exercising or whatever. It's Very a lot cool. of fun. Well, uh, this... This retreat sounds like a, a great idea, and I I think it what you've done is taken this brand of skirt strategies and extended it, and you've you've allowed it to become something that can be ongoing. And the podcast is another example of that, where you just didn't write the book and sit back and and watch well, it sell. Wow, we did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> been there. You, you're it you're work that way. actually making it relevant, and that's. And, and ongoing and that keeps your book alive too and yeah. that's nice well and we love the in-person interaction and uh, uh, any woman can tell you this uh, uh, it, it's true for a group full of men too but a group full of women when it's only women in the room it becomes powerful it becomes rich it becomes vulnerable and opening and women just have no trouble sharing with one another when it when it comes to identifying who they are and what they want to be and that's what we're looking forward to in the weekend uh, and this is strictly for women. It's right? strictly for women. Well, I think legally we would say if a man really wanted yeah. to show up, we don't want to get in trouble. I think he'd feel out of place. Well, yeah, yeah. He, would, he would. That's, that's yeah. not what it's about. That's we could probably we could come up with something for him. So, wh where's the uh, whole skirt strategies leadership model going? You're going to keep it uh, 
We're really going for a kind of a national online tribe. Right. And interestingly, uh, we released our Kindle this weekend, and I'm sorry we weren't here earlier because it was free all weekend long. Oh, um, it'll but be free again. It, and it'll okay. be free again probably in a, a couple of months. But uh, we had women calling us from and emailing us from Australia. We've got women Wonderful. all oh. over the world. So it's fantastic. it's really a, a broad base. Show the book again there, Aaron, would oh. you? And that's a it's a great book, Skirt Strategies. These are two great friends of mine, and I, I invite you to come back any old time you we want to. We would like to. to. And the to website again real quick? Skirtstrategies.com. Skirt Look right. at you two. <laughs> Fantastic. Carol White and Katie Snap. thanks for right. joining Thank us so on The here. Morning Brew. All right, thanks again. Back with more in just a sec here on The Morning Brew.